thousand Roman soldiers to the Helens they came north, and they had conquered thousands from the Tiber to the fourth. They landed near Loch Lomond, and for the night they thought they'd lie, but from somewhere in the cobbler hills they heard this terrible cry. Garigalahi, Garigaloo, come up and fight, ye cowardly crew. I'll have ye for my pot of stew, ye fear to fight with me. Well, on top was a great big healing man, with a kilt and a huge claymore. He looked a bit ferocious, so Caesar sent up four, and he settled down to supper then, by the bright light of the moon. But he lost his taste for vino when, for heats come rolling down. Garigalahi, Garigaloo, come up and fight, ye cowardly crew. I'll have ye for my pot of stew, ye fear to fight with me. So Caesar sent Mark Antony with another fifty-five. Go bring the rascals heat to me, or I'll have ye skinned alive. They heard the clash of metal then, until the night was done. But then there came this terrible cry, with a rising oh the sun. Garigalahi, Garigaloo, come up and fight, ye cowardly crew. I'll have ye for my pot of stew, ye fear to fight with me. So Caesar sent a thousand men, this healing men to crack, and out all of that thousand, there was only one come back. Oh, Caesar cried the soldier, with his heat all black and blue, that rascal has been kidding us, cause there's no just one, there's two. Garigalahi, garigaloo, Come up and fight, ye cowardly crew. I'll have ye for my pot of stew. Ye fear to fight with me. Well, Caesar picked his suitcase up and he ran southwards then. He was doing 90 mile an hour and he couldn't catch his men. But now you'll maybe wonder why I've told this tale at all. Well, it has a simple moral, and they call it Hadrian's Wall. Garigalahi, Garigaloo, come up and fight, ye cowardly crew. I'll have ye for my pot of stew, ye fear to fight with me. Thank you.